the meeting is officially opened. I'm flat with flu, but uh, I will make it a point that we continue with the meeting. And I requested Lindy Way not to change the time so as not to be confused. Uh, we stick to nine o'clock as we are used to do that. I wish to welcome everyone in the meeting. I also want to caution people about the water they drink. We must make sure that we boil our water. If it's not water that is filtrated and also make sure that we make uh, our communities aware of the cholera that is up now. And um, I also wish to say that uh, much as we are closer to the end of this month, we will be getting into the month of the youth month, which we have to definitely uh, order their, their, I will say their, their wishes and also try to assist them in terms of this huge number of unemployment of youth, especially the graduates. But I know for a fact that the government is trying their level best to assist the youth. So with those few words, honorable members, I'm not going to be too much. And I hope the meeting is going to go smooth today. But uh, let's see the agenda. You know that we had a matter that we have to discuss today, which we have to think on what is it that is going to happen on it. So let's allow Lindy to flight the agenda and check who's in the meeting and who is not in the meeting. Also, Lindy, you have also to go to apologies and we wish to welcome you back. We understand that you were not part of our meeting. You were writing exams. We wish you that you passed with flying colors. We understand how difficult it is to study as a, 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 an adult. There are challenges and also there are things that sometimes are obstacle for, for your studies, but we hope that you did very well, and we wish you that you pass uh, the, your exams. Honorable members, let's check Lindy. Give us who's not in the meeting and who's in the meeting. Um, I thank you very much, Chair. Uh, good morning, uh, members and the department officials. Uh, also, thank you for the best wishes. Uh, Chair, today is the 24th of May. 2023, I wish to confirm the following members of the portfolio committee who are present in this meeting. We have you, Chair, Member Mbana, as the chairperson of this committee. We have Member Fana Merve, we have Member Abrahams, we have Member Stock, we have Member Aris, we have Member Masango, we have Member Peterson. Uh, Chair, those are the members I've managed to, to capture uh, while they were logging in. Also, Chair, in terms of the apologies, I've received an apology from the minister who, who is unable to attend today's meeting due to a um, cabinet meeting she's attending. So she won't be with us today. She said we must also record her apology, Chair. I also wish to apologize. Um, I have a technical uh, problem when it comes to the camera. My camera is not working, so you won't be able to see me. Thank you very much, Chair. Thank you. Thank you, Lindy. Is the Deputy Minister present with us? Let's see. You can you see from the from the attendant? Um I don't see her. No, she I didn't see anyone from her office either here. Okay. Um, even from my side, I don't see her, but yes, maybe... Uh, 
Member Hello? Marie is still struggling to log in. Sure. Okay, she, Member Mare uh, just joined in and Member Manganye also just joined in. I've just um, accepted them, the two members who just joined. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much, Lid. I hope that uh, we have managed to introduce everybody who's in the meeting. Do we have officials with us today? In fact, we morning, this uh, session. Chair, was... Morning, Chairperson. Yes, Chair. Um, um, Member Marie is also in. Yes, we have been recognized. Welcome, Marie. You have been recognized. Uh, Chair, also Member um, Bilangulu also just joined. Uh, we do have um, the departmental officials who are here, Chair, um, also the parliamentary support staff, the, your entourage is all here, the, the four, four, five staff members, Chair, are here to support you. And they are from the department, Chairperson. Okay, thank you very much. They are also welcome. Oh, okay. Lindy, we said we have to first start with the I will say outstanding issue that we had. So can we see the agenda and, and, and refresh our minds with the agenda? Yes, sure. That's the agenda, honorable members. Can we then say that follow-up meeting to finalize discussion on the drafting of the committee bill? the one of the children's amendment bill. And then presentation by DSD on the remaining clauses, which we were told that they are 126, but all that will depend on our discussion on the first item, whether what is it that we are saying as the committee. And then, uh, yeah, all the following items will depend on our discussions on the first item. So can we proceed with that agenda that has been proposed with what I have said? Can I see who adopts the agenda? Stock, honorable stock. Thank you very much, uh, honorable chairperson. Greetings to uh, all my colleagues and everybody who's connected in the platform. Uh, I would like to move for the adoption of the agenda as proposed. Thank you. Thank you very much, honorable stock, honorable Sango. Thank you very much, Chair. I move to second the adoption of the agenda. Thank you very much, uh, Honorable Songo. Let's proceed with the, the agenda as, as proposed. As I have already said that, let's remind ourselves on where we stopped the previous meeting, where we said, let's go and, 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 and consider and check whether what is it that we're going to do with the Children's Amendment Bill out of what has been said uh, in the meeting. Uh, can I get someone who will also refresh our minds where we stop and also give us the way forward? Honorable Stock. No, no, thank you very much, uh, Honorable Chairperson. Uh, let me again greet uh, my colleagues and everybody who's connected to the meeting. Uh, Chairperson, uh, just part of uh, maybe just trying to remind ourselves uh, where we come from in terms of this process and where we are uh, as a portfolio committee. 
Uh, I mean, the uh, honorable members will agree with me that uh, we started, the bill was presented to us in the committee uh, in its own totality. And then as the portfolio committee, we then took a decision to separate uh, the, the, the bill into two parts. Number one uh, is the process that we have concluded, uh, which we have adopted already as a portfolio committee, which was also adopted by the National Assembly, the NCOP and all of that. So, which is now an act of law with regard to the foster care related clauses. And then that has actually assisted us as a portfolio committee to be able to meet uh, the court deadline. And then also, uh, I, mean, uh, I mean, as part of the, uh, the, the, the meeting of the committee for a comprehensive solution, legal solution. Uh, so uh, what we need to indicate, I mean, from where we started up until now, uh, I think we need to appreciate the, uh, the kind of legal advice that we're given, both from the parliament side, as well as the uh, departmental legal legal advice that we have received. I mean, the process that we started, it was a back-to-back -back arrangement. Uh, it came to us, it was close by clause and all of that. And at the back of our mind, we were also looking at meeting the court deadline. So the first part of the uh, the, the, the bill has actually been done. Uh, uh, it's adopted, it's an act of law. We really appreciate the progress that we have made up to so far. Now, uh, the objective of the second part of the bill, because what we said uh, when we were busy with uh, dealing with the foster care related clauses, we used a legal term, uh, Honorable Chairperson, which is to reject the clauses uh, and then uh, to, so that the committee, we are able to be able to deal with those clauses in the form of a committee bill. So we use the word reject, not uh, actually meaning that we are rejecting those clauses. It's a technical word that uh, we are actually use, using to defer them to a later stage to be considered uh, in the form of a committee bill. Now, the public hearings that we had all along, we uh, we have been very consistent in the committee that we are not going to uh, disregard what uh, views uh, and inputs we have solicited from the different stakeholders as well as the public hearings when we went throughout the different provinces. Everything that has been said there, we will be able to consider it uh, in the form of a committee bill. Now, meaning that the exercise that the committee has undertaken, it's, a, it's an exercise that actually assisted us to put the whole, or the whole work of the bill in front of the portfolio committee. Now, uh, uh, Honorable Chairperson, I just want to indicate for the purpose of uh, the portfolio committee now considering uh, the committee bill, uh, given the advice that we're given in the last meeting, I think it was last week, Wednesday, by Advocate uh, Van der Merve who came to the meeting. And then also highlighting the number of risks uh, that are actually also entailed, uh, given taking into consideration also uh, the few months that are left before the sixth parliament is going to rise. And then uh, we're not sure when the elections will be, but pref uh, probably if the elections will be in May, uh, we're actually left with a few months. Uh, so we'll not be able to, as a portfolio committee, uh, to be able to deal with this particular bill uh, because of uh, one of the issues that were highly contested and highly contentious is the issue of the consultation for the rights of the fathers and then also the issue of the customary laws that are there, uh, the customs and all of that. So which will actually make us to even go to the extent of consulting with the National House of Traditional Leaders, which will actually be a lengthy process. So taking into consideration all those issues, Honorable Chairperson, I would like to uh, uh, put, a propo put a proposal before the Portfolio Committee uh, that we defer uh, the, 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 the committee bill as is with all these 126 clauses in it uh, to the next parliament, which will be the seventh parliament, meaning that the committee that will come in the seventh parliament will be able to table the bill in front of it uh, deal with all the issues and take the process forward. Uh, not necessarily trying to create an impression that we don't want to deal with it now. Uh, we don't want to do our work. That's not what I'm trying to say. All what I'm trying to say, I'm saying considering all these other factors that were raised, the risks that were presented to us, and then also because of, we will not be able to have ample time to be able to uh, proceed with the bill as is uh, due to time constraints. So I would like to put that proposal, proposal that fate to uh, the seventh parliament, uh, the committee then will take it forward. Thank you very much, uh, Honorable Chairperson. Thanks. Yeah, thank you very much, Honorable Stock.
uh, I think you've made it clearly and you also reminded us where we stopped and where we were supposed to start. And uh, now what I would like to, okay, let me also give Honorable Mother Ali first before I, I, I do the, the input. Thank you very much, Honorable Stock. You were clear on what we have to do. Honorable Mother. Thank, <coughs> thank you very much, Honorable Chair. Thank you. I also, I wanted to, Honorable Stock have uh, taken some of the issue that I have uh, wanted to raise but I'm supporting him, but I wanted to put what I, I was thinking, I was saying, while we have rejected this uh, 126, uh, uh, the proposal is that we, must, uh, we are deferring it to the next administration because uh, it will also assist them because uh, we didn't uh, go to the, uh, the course. I think we call it the, the, the chiefs in uh, uh, English, but I don't know if it's the correct voice, but the Kosi, because they all, uh, as uh, African, we also have our own culture. So men, uh, combining <clears throat> what we were talking about and this one, especially Father for Justice and this, uh, uh, traditional authority. It will give them time to can go and consult with the uh, traditional leaders because the one of fathers for justice we have, and then of which we were very much key that this one will do it after we have done what the court was uh, wanting us to do. Because here, as Comrade Stock, I agree we are basing only to that one that will make the, our children, uh, especially those who are receiving grants, not to stop. Uh, because we, we take, we you the bigger chunk. So this one, we were doing it because we wanted to address the court challenges. And then we, we have said, uh, in that meeting that we have a chairperson that after this, we get into the father for justice. So unfortunately, as I have said last time, by the, when we were advised by advocate uh, that was there, Fandar Merve, and then we, we have seen that we want to have- We missed you somewhere when you were saying, unfortunately. Yes, I said, unfortunately, we don't have ample time. We will leave this thing hanging. The better way is to support, to say, I, 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 I support Honorable Stock to say, we must defer it to the seventh administration so as to finish. We defer it, uh, uh, the way it is where we have stopped, uh, they will see even the, the minutes. Thank you very much, Chair. Thank you very much, Honorable Mangani. And uh, I think you are second Honorable Stock in terms of, let's defer this to the seventh parliament. Uh, I see, I see that the hands are up. I can see a uh, Honorable Abra, Honorable Aris, followed by Honorable Milagolo, but I was emphasizing on what uh, the two Honorable members were saying. Okay, Honorable Abra, let's give you. Uh, th thank you, Chairperson, and I'm so sorry you're feeling so ill. Um, I know there's a terrible flu going around. I had it a few weeks ago, so I know exactly how you're feeling. Um, Chairperson, my comments are as follows. I really do think going forward that when we discuss um, 
processes and providing overviews. That overview should really come from the committee staff um, and not from members of parliament because I, I, I disagree with some of the things the honorable member said. Furthermore, Chairperson, my proposal would be, and I think I shared it with my with member Masango, she's just had to step off the, the committee to attend to an urgent MAC at the moment. And that is that we um, resolve as a committee um, to instruct or request the department to actually begin the work on the executive bill in this regard, and then introduce it in the seventh parliament. Um, I believe that was one of the proposals that were given to us as well, that um, the committee resolves that the executive begin the work <clears throat> now already um, and introduce it in the next um, parliament. Furthermore, Chairperson, what hasn't been um, highlighted and I don't see it in the minutes from last week, and that was that some members of this committee requested that a formal complaint be laid um, with um, the, um, would imagine it's the chief law advisor, and you at the end of the meeting last week said that you will not lay that complaint. So that is just another matter that I think is outstanding in this committee. And then, oh, and, and lastly, Chairperson, last week I've also made the point that this is something that could have been um, addressed last week. Therefore, my question remains, what are we doing today if this is now the position of the committee. And you know, Chairperson, other committees are meeting twice, thrice a week. And this is the department, uh, the Committee for Social Development, where we have such a lot of work to do. And I just really feel that now, if we are agreeing um, with the, um, leaving it for the seventh parliament, that what are we doing today? Because we're gonna go through clauses, but we're only gonna deal with it we're not even going to deal with it in the next term. Um, so that is just my two concerns that we are always complaining that we don't have enough time and here we are wasting time. Thank you, Chairperson. And I just would like the proposal that the committee resolves um, that the executive begin the executive bill. Thank you, Chairperson. Yeah, uh, good morning, Thank Chairperson. You. Thank you, Abrams. Yeah, good morning, Chairperson. Thank you very much uh, for the opportunity and I hope you get well. Please look after yourself. I was also very sick. I even ate up being asthma bronchitis. So this flu is a very serious flu. Yeah, uh, Chairperson, um, Honorable Abrams did raise a few of the issues that I want to raise, specifically the one that I was raised last week that I was asked, that I was requesting you to uh, bring this incident under the attention of the chief law um, advisor, state advisor. The other issue that I am really worried about, Chairperson, is that um, the other bills that are in front of this committee, it in actual fact mean that it will go the same way because this sixth parliament don't have sufficient time for to pass any bill into law if you look at the time that is left. And I don't want a situation where we, we, we again have the situation of where we will go through processes and we don't have sufficient time to finish this bill. The other thing that I also would like to raise is that, um, as this, the advice that we did get last week, it is this bill in the seventh administration will start afresh. That's the reality. Again, I still strongly feel, the EFF strongly feel that it is fruitless and wasteful expenditure and somebody needs to be held accountable for that. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Honorable Aris, Honorable Kate Vilankulu. Thank you very much, uh, Honorable Chair, and good morning, Honorable Members. Uh, Honorable Chairperson, uh, I don't think I've got a, something differ or different from what has been said by other members. 
uh, I want to support all the members who spoke before me by saying that let, let's defer the bill uh, because of the time constraints that is before us. Uh, because uh, if we were to start with the other, with the bill considering it close by close like we did previously for now, we're not going to finish with the bill. So the better the better thing is what I even said, Chairperson, if you remember well, last week, last week Wednesday, when we were busy after the presentation, what I I said, I don't think since we are saying we've only left with few months, we are going to when we start with it now, we're going to to finish. It's better to defer it to the seventh parliament. Uh, I raised my hand to support because even last time I said so that we better defer the bill to the seventh parliament. So when they start with it, I think it will be simpler and they will be having enough time. Those will be lucky coming back and serve at social development as the seventh parliament to continue with it. I thank you, Chairperson. Thank you. Thank you, Honorable Kate, uh, Honorable Paulette. Thank you, Jefferson. Um, sorry for you being six Jefferson, but please look after yourself. The only thing that I'm worried about, we are referring the, the this call to the next to the next session, no? the seventh parliament. I'm just worried, is there any implications that is gonna come back to this uh, committee from the Fathers for Justice? Because it seems that they have been struggling for years to get um, justice for their children. They've been fighting this thing for a very long time. Is there gonna be any implications from their side? I just want the legal team to look into that one, please, Jefferson. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much, honorable members. I think it was the last hand. Uh, can I remind the committee that we can't punish ourselves by saying it's a wasteful expenditure that we did in terms of going around the public hearings. Honorable members, remember, if we defer this bill to the executive to the second bill, it won't be a wasteful expenditure or whatever thing that you are naming it, because they will also consider all what has been said by the communities when we were going or going around to the public hearings. The only thing is that they will take it back and do it as the second draft, as the executive, as we know that it is there in the drafting of bill to look at it. And I want also to emphasize once more that uh, we, were, we didn't get the wrong, wrong advice when we as the committee agreed to separate these two bills, in fact, this bill into two phases in terms of considering the foster care related matters to the first phase and answer the, the, the judgment of okay, the court, the high court, Johannesburg, Johannesburg High Court. Remember, we were rushing times. We were asking uh, extensions and extensions. And we said in the committee, we don't want to ask any extension for this. Let's rather divide it into two phases. We did the 12 clauses and then we said we'll follow with the other ones. So we didn't get any wrong advice on that. We are still on track. That is why we are saying even now, let's defer it to the seventh a parliament, they will take from where we stopped in terms of considering all what has been said, even the fathers of or justice of fathers or fathers of justice, they will also consider all those comments that were in there. Just want to caution and remind the, the, the committee on that. I also have to take a, dis 
a discussion on that because we can't be dealing with this back and forth and forth. Remember last week, I said and requested the committee to go back and put their minds on it, on thinking whether coming up, whether we, are we going to be fair to this, uh, 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 to this bill when we are going to just think haphazardly and not remind and remember what we discussed. And let's go back. I want to refer to Honorable Abrams. Honorable Abrams, it's not a waste of time, but if the next uh, parliament wants to extend number of meetings, we can go back and request Fridays because I know for the fact that it, we, have, we used to have meetings on Fridays, but because there are people that are not staying around, we requested not to have rather meetings on Fridays because it's a traveling day. Otherwise, we can go back to that if we feel that it's not enough, or the days are not enough for social development. But we have to request that again from the whip or from the chair of chairs, whoever is responsible for that. And then we, are, we can be saying we are safe now in terms of, we are not wasting time even today because it was the matter that was, that we were supposed to put ourselves and put a uh, thinking on it. So today we are not wasting our time. Instead, we are coming up with fresh ideas and fresh minds in terms of thinking whether to continue this or not to continue. So the next item of dealing with clause by clause, it's out. We cannot waste time more. Likes to us saying we will be wasting time. Rather we go and do other work and do other things because we've got lots and lots of things to do. But it doesn't mean that if we postpone this or we attend to this because we can't be dealing with clause by clause whilst we are saying, let's defer this to the seventh parliament. I just want to emphasize on that. That's why I wanted to speak last so as to have the discussion and at least not to continue with this one because the only problem with this meeting of today was to discuss whether do we continue or do we defer this to this. And now I hear people that are saying, let's defer it. You are even saying, Honorable Aris, that really we can't be doing justice. It will be unfair for us to say that we'll be able to finish the 126 clauses on this. That's how the, I think I have to summarize all what you have said uh, in this meeting. And with that, uh, with that, uh, with, with that deliberations, I see that Honorable Abraham's head is up. You'll be the last, last on this item. So as to attend the meeting and not to do lots and lots of debating and discussing something that we are saying, let's defer it. Thank you. Honorable Abrams. Yes, yes, Chairperson. Chairperson, I'm still confused as what, what is going to be minuted and what the what's the, the final decision. Are you saying the committee is just deferring and full stop um, as proposed by Honorable Stock? Or are you saying we are deferring with the instruction or direction given to the department to please proceed with an executive bill so that when the seventh parliament begins, you, they can hit the ground running. If all the work is done from the department side, that the new committee can just um, start with, with their work. So I'm just, I'm unclear about that. Are you just re deferring and full stop? Or are you deferring with the recommendation to the department? Thank you. Maybe I am not clear on what I am saying. Someone, Alex, Honorable Stock. 
Can you repeat yourself to assist me? No, no, thank you very much, Honorable uh, Chairperson. No, just to uh, clarify my earlier proposal that I need the meeting. Uh, I propose that we defer uh, the bill, the committee bill, to the next uh, parliament, which will be the seventh parliament. Uh, I'm totally opposed to us uh, uh, deferring this bill to the executive and then the executive because the implication. Uh, if we are going to agree that we send it back to the executive, the implication of that is that the executive uh, will have to then start the bill from all over fresh. So the work that we have done already in terms of the foster care losses, it will also be null and void up in issue. So I think Honorable, uh, Honorable uh, Abrams is actually, uh, she's trying to uh, throw a, a, a spanner into the wheel or something to collapse uh, the whole uh, process or the whole work that we have done as a committee uh, with regard to uh, the consideration of the bill and all of that. I think Honorable Van der Merve, I mean, Honorable Abrams wants us to start afresh uh, with the bill if it goes up uh, according to her. So I'm totally opposed to that view of sending the bill back to the executive because if you send it back to the executive, then it means the executive will have to start afresh with the bill, reclassify it, declassify it, and then send it back to the cabinet committees, uh, and all of that. So it's a new process completely on its own. So it will then contradict the work that we have done as a committee. So my proposal firmly is very clear, Honorable Chairperson. We have done work already as a proposal, as a portfolio committee. Uh, we have dealt with the foster care related losses. Uh, the bill has been adopted. It's already an act of parliament, uh, an act of law. Uh, so in terms of the first phase. Now, the second phase that we're dealing with now, I'm proposing that this one of the committee be we then defer this committee bill to the seventh administration, not back to the department, to the seventh administration. That's what I'm proposing, Honorable Chairperson. Thank you very much. Okay. Chairperson. Okay, well, it might be myself that I mix match this thing, but what, we, what has been seconded by Honorable Bagani and Honorable Kate was exactly what Honorable Stock has explained. It might be me that who did the mix match, Honorable Abrams. So yes, it's you know, you know, Chairperson, some people might think this is throwing the spanner in the works. Now take exception to that. This is what we have on our agenda as committee deliberations. So we are discussing this matter and we're ventilating it. And I mean, we have the, the legal experts on our platform right now, why not hand over the two proposals to them to provide this committee with a legal opinion on which on, on both proposals and leave it at that. It's to completely Hello. dismiss to completely dismiss a member's input. I think it's 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 not it's not right, Chairperson, especially when we have the advice on the platform. And I really do hope that this will be minuted in the minutes of this meeting because there's a lot of things that are still missing from last week's minutes. Thank you, Chairperson. Yeah, that, that is minuted, Honorable Abrams. Everything is minuted, I suppose. But I am saying that what has been seconded is what Honorable Stock has been again raised it and explained it. I am saying it might be me who has mismatched whatever that I said throughout. Otherwise, the this is a, 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 a portfolio committee a, a, a bill for now, and it leads us. Last week, what I said is that out of what we had, let's go back and look at it and put our minds on it. So I don't see a need for us to give whoever that is outside our committee for now. Legal advisors has done their best and explain to us. I don't know what is it now that we need for that. So please allow me to chair the meeting on how I see it or to chair the meeting because you have uh, given me a platform of chairing the meeting. So I'm driving the meeting to the point where I had on how you discuss the matter. I don't know, Honorable Sogo, I said Abrams is the last, last person 
that will be given a chance to speak. But let me give you Honorable Shaw. I don't know what is it that you are going to say. What to you, Honorable Shaw? No, no, thank you very much, Chair. I probably might not have might not have heard that because my network is bad. There's no electricity here, but I think your summary now just covered me, Chair, in the Wheeler Pass. Okay, thank you very much. I think most of the areas don't have electricity from seven o'clock and it will be back from 10 to 12. So that's the problem that we are having, which we mustn't also again uh, waste time on deliberating back and forth. We have agreed as the committee that at least we have to defend this to the seventh parliament. Out of the work that we have done, the committee of the seventh uh, parliament will also consider all what we have done and take into consideration on our public hearings in terms of the community, community input that they, they, they sent to us. So I think for now, that's why I'm saying the next item was to deal with the department clause by clause on how are we going to do that. There's no need for that. Uh, let's, uh, let's agree that today we are going to defer the matter to the seventh avenue, I mean, to the seventh uh, parliament, and they will consider all what we have. I think I'm repeating myself for the fourth time now. So let's agree that there is no deliberations on it, no adoption or whatever, because we are deferring this to the seventh. Lead way, is there anything that we have to do for now? So it was the minutes. The minutes. Yes, sir. On which date? Uh, 8, 15, uh, and 17. Okay, let's go to the minutes. Otherwise, we'll pass the other ones. Can we go to the minutes? Sure, your list hand is up, Chen. Yoli. Thank you, Chairperson, and good morning. I hope I'm audible. Chairperson, I just just for to make sure that the proceedings are ready. The resolution that is taken now, the, the, the bill is deferred and is going to be reduced as a committee bill, or is deferred to be reintroduced as an executive bill. I just want that clear, clarity, Chair. Thank you. Oh, what dot? Oh. Oh, 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 Lady Way. Chair, if I, sorry. Chair. Lady Way. Chair. Oh, you will lose a boat. Okay, you will lose a four minutes. No, we have four minutes, Chair. Declare like a. Who stock up here? The what Chase. he said. Chase, honorable Aris, can you hear me? Hey, this Chase, can you hear me? Aris, yes, I hear you. Yes, I hear you. Oh, no, 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 Chase. I think, um, um, so that we all can be on the same. You said that this bill will be referred. Uh, uh 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 uh. We are told that we don't hear you. Uh, is, is that is that what you were saying, Jay? Oh, oh, Aris. Yes, Jay. Incredible, Aris. We couldn't pick it to you clearly. I say I just want to get clarity, like uh, Yoli was asking. So this bill will be deferred to the seven Parliament as a committee bill. Are you asking or are you answering Yoli? Yes, the big, that is what you were saying, that we were 
that we will defer this bill to the seventh parliament as a committee bill. That is my understanding. Okay. Well, I'm sorry, Yoli. Thank you very much for that. Vila Yoli. Yoli. I'm going to capture. Yes, I'm going to capture that. Thank you for that. Okay. So, minutes. Lady, will you please flight the minutes? Okay, sure. Lower your head, uh, Aris. Honorable Aris. Honorable Aris. Chair, yes, I have lowered my hand. I have lowered my hand. Okay, thank you. Lead G flight the minutes. Okay, Chair. Okay, Chair. It is of the of the of the of the eighth of of March, Chair. Uh, I've just opened it now. What is it? March. April. Hey, and it's me. Yeah, Uh, Chair, uh, this was a meeting of the 8th uh, when the committee received uh, responses from the uh, DSD as well um, and the basic education um, uh, and the Department of the Women, Youth and uh, Person with Disability. Uh, members that were present in that meeting, uh, it was you, Chair. Member Stock, Member Tlongo, Member Mangani, Member Pilangulu from the DA was Member Masango and Abrams. And we have Member Aris and Member Mare, and Member Van der Merve, and we receive an apology from Member Sukers. Uh, Chair, there were a number of departmental officials that were present, uh, and also member from the basic education, uh, members from the youth, uh, women, youth, and people with disabilities, and your support team, Chair. And they gave, uh, we adopted the minutes on that day as well. Um, the minute of the 19 uh, October 14, 26, and 9 November 2022. And then these are the responses from the um, uh, from the basic education chair. Um, also the um, Department of um, Women, Youth, and, and People with Disabilities also provided their responses. Um, as well from the Department of Social Development that in response to the questions raised in the previous uh, meeting. They also requested, they made some recommendation from SASA, uh, DPE and also um, uh, DSD uh, that the DSD should um, uh, um, they defer the agenda to brief uh, the committee on the employment of social workers, which uh, that item was presented during the Workshop on 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 of of the committee in held in public chair. So those are the minutes of the. Thank you, Joy. Can I get any person who adopts the minutes? Honourable members. Person stock here. I move for the adoption of the minutes. As a true reflection of the meeting. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Honorable Stock. Can I get the second on the minutes? Yes, Chair. Mangani second. Thank you very much, Honorable Mangani. Okay, the minutes have been adopted and seconded. Can I get to the next set of minutes? 
Okay, Jim. Sorry, Chair. Uh, oh, where is the 15th? The next set, um, I can't find it. Sorry, Chair. Fifteens, okay. The next set is for the 15th of March. Um, we receive a briefing from DSD on the third quarterly uh, report, uh, which was um, October to December 2022, and also adoption of minutes. Uh, chair members that were present, um, it's member Mvana, Pilangulu, Manga, Nyestok, and member Matlongo. And then uh, we have member Abrams, Masango, Eris, uh, Mare, Panamere uh, and Brett and apology from member Sukers. Uh, chair, um, the department, um, the minister was present and the acting DG. Uh, we had uh, also other dependent officials with your support staff and also apologies were received from member Sukers and then adopted the agenda. And then we considered the minutes of the 15, 22 and 1st of March. Um, as well, the department uh, made their presentation on the third term. Um, as also chaired, the deliberations will be captured in the report on the quarterly report, our committee report on the quarterly report, chair. Thank you very much, Lindy. Can I get uh, Honorable Gates to adopt the minutes? Thank you very much, Chair. I move for the adoption of the draft minutes uh, of the 15th of March, 2023, as a true reflection of what transpired in our meeting. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Honorable Milagkuno. Can I get uh, Honorable Sogo? Thank you very much, Chair. I second the adoption of the minutes by Honorable Milagkuno. Thank you very much, Honorable Shogo. Minutes have been seconded, adopted by Honorable Milagulu, seconded by Honorable Shogo. The minutes of the 15th March. Is there anything, Honorable uh, Lidi, that is outstanding? The third chair. The yeah. minutes of the third chair. Minutes of the third. Okay. So on this day, Chair, the, it was the APPs. So the committee received a presentation from AG uh, and DSD uh, they, on their APP chair. And then members that were present, uh, member Mbana, member Pilangulu, member Tlongo, Mangany, Stock and Peterson. And then we have member Masango, Abrams, Eris and Mare. And then Chair, we received two apologies from member Fanda Merve and member Sukers, and they were Departmental officials were here, uh, led by the by the minister, who, um, by the minister chair, and then we had um, AG uh, officials uh, led by uh, Mr. Um, Faisal, uh, the senior manager, and then you had your support staff. The five of us were here as uh, sub chair, chair. You opened the meeting. Apologies for member Mang, uh, uh, for the two members uh, also. Uh, member Fanda Merva attended the PC on Home Affairs chair, and also the agenda was adopted. And uh, the AG also presented the, the APP reviews for the DSD and its entities, as well as the department came in and to present their APP. And then the deliberations for these uh, proceedings were captured in the committee report that was adopted on the 10th chair. Thank you. Okay, these are the minutes of the 3rd of April. Yes, Chair. Okay. Uh, honorable... <laughs> 
you are fluid person so you can't even recognize our voices <laughs> oh okay honorable <laughs> bilangulu <laughs> no thank you chair I move for the adoption um, of the 3rd of May as the true reflection of what transpired during our meeting in I so move. Chair, Thank you. Uh, okay. I seconded I seconded honorable Bilankulu for Thank you for honorable uh, minutes have been adopted by Honorable Milagulu and seconded by Honorable Mangadye. What else uh, need to uh? 17 May, Chair. Uh, excuse okay. me, Chairperson. Sorry to interrupt. Sorry to interrupt, Chairperson. I see we've moved on to the 17th of May. And maybe, Vlindi, we can just inform us what happened to the minutes of the 5th and the 10th before we move on to the 17th. Uh, the, minutes of, the, the, the minutes of Friday the 5th and the minutes of the 10th, because I see we are really okay. on to 17. Yes, okay. The, okay. I have lost the file for the 10th chair. And then uh, when I looked at the content of the minutes of the 10th, the information is not on that of, of what transpired on the 10th. I do have the minutes for the 5th. So I just need to work on my files to check what really happened. But for the fifth, and I then about the tenth. tenth. And what about the tenth? No, I do have for the fifth chair. That's the tenth that I'm ex trying to explain. That the content on the minutes of the tenth is not what happened because on that day we are just adopting the, the 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 committee report of the APPs. But I do have the minutes of the fifth. Okay, so can we go to the minutes of the fifth and get okay. the ones of the tenth before we get the ones of the seventeenth? I don't have the tenth chair. The information that is there, the ones of the fifth, you don't have it. The information that is there, chair, I can quickly, uh, quickly put the correct information because we were only adopting the the committee report on the 10th chair. But in terms of what is in the in the in the minutes of the 10th is as if we were considering the APP. So that's why it's the date is correct, but what is inside is not what transpired on that particular day. That's why okay. I said I need to go and and fix them. Can, can, can you go and <laughs> fix them before you give us the minute of the 17th lead. Mm. Can you go and fix them and also give us the way, the fifth. Uh, yeah, the fifth, uh, whatever, 10th and 17th. Can we defer that one to the next meeting, the three of them? The fifth is here, Chair. You also want to defer, okay. defer them. I feel like up at that thing over the seventeenth day. Okay.
Like I said, it looks like oh, Mrs. Lindy was cut off. She's not in the platform anymore. No. Can I can I just quickly? Oh, yes, I have the sharing rights. Maybe I can flight the minutes of the of the fifth. Please, Yuli. Okay, let me just go through my to open them, Chairperson. Yoli. Hey, Todd, where are they now? I'm looking for them. I don't see them in my You folder. don't see them? Yes, sir. Okay, where is uh, Can we, we uh, you I'm to, I'm, I'm, Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm speaking to her now. She's on the line. She's... Okay. Yes, sir. Thank you very much, Honorable Abrams, for reminding us Chairperson, about this. Are we still a quorum to adopt minutes? I beg yours. Are we still a quorum in order to adopt the, the minutes? Yes. Why not? Who's missing? Because some members have fallen off the line. You. Sure. There's you. There's myself, there's a uh, honorable stock, there's honorable Magani, there's honorable Koit Wilangulu, there's honorable Leticia Aris. How many are we now? Yeah, we are a corrupt. Two, two, four. We are a quorum, Che. Yes, we are. At the minutes, are you able to, to, to lock it? Lady? Uh, your, your, your network is bad, sis. We can't even hear you. Lady, are you in the platform or? The network seem to be bad. Lady, where? You leave. She's not here. I'm here, just. Yeah, I'm I, I, I hear you. That you are struggling. Yeah, but I'm here. Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, I'm here. Uh, are you able to get the minutes? Can't hear you. No, not yet. Okay, then okay. the minutes. Hello, the minutes of the fifth. I, I wanted to propose the minutes of the tenth and the minutes of the seventeenth can be deferred. Okay, Honorable uh, Bilagulu. Thank you, Chair. Yes, I I wanted to. I was raising my hand in order to defend the minutes because uh, Lindy, in the first place, she was indicating that there are some uh, some of the things that, according to her, it's not minuted well. So I think we need to give her time to go and sit and correct whatever. The, in our next meeting, that's where we are going to adopt this set of minutes because it's, it's nothing else but to, to go through and we we adopt the minutes. So my hand was for deferring the chairperson. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, 
Thanks, Honorable Milagulo. I'm, I'm, I'm also thinking about that, especially because of the network, which is bad to most of the people. Yeah, uh, I'm also supporting, I'm supporting Honorable Milagulo by adding that means we need to adopt something that has been uh, 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 dealt with in that particular minute. So I support that we must give there a chance so that we must defer next time, next minute. Min min yes, thank you. Thank, thank you, Honorable Magani. Any other person against that? The network is really a problem to other members. Can we then uh, Agenda the meeting because that was the last item, the one of the minutes. Can we attend the meeting then? Uh, see ourselves next time and, and say goodbye to everyone. Look, look after yourselves, honorable members. The flu is very, very heavy and it's painful. Make sure that you keep yourself warm and protect yourselves from the cold. The meeting has adjourned. Thank you, Chair. Bye. Thank you. See you next week. Remember next week, it's our debate. Everybody is, accept, is, is expected to be in the house physically. Thank you, Chair. Uh, you, okay. I will end the meeting for everyone.